Hello guys, welcome back to Colton's Fishing Channel here. Here to bring you a uh, tackle box viewing. Uh, you guys are probably wondering like what I use for fishing, what I take, what I fish for. So this video will kind of show you or tell you what I do, what I fish for, and what I use. So let's just get into it here. Um, this is the Okeechobee Flats tackle box that I got from Fleet Farm last year um works for I, I like it but like i bike down to my local lake and it doesn't really work well so i'll put all my stuff in the backpack but other than that it's pretty good tackle box and it's definitely worth the money so let's get into it first thing is the little pocket here that i can put my oakley's in nice watertight case here um Works pretty good. Haven't got haven't gotten any water in it, so that's good. And down here I have some neon those pliers down here, and then like another pliers thing here. And let's get to the soft plastics. Oh yeah, actually I forgot. In here, in this compartment, I have some reels, old reels, or some spare parts that I could use so in here are our soft plastics I have some yum uh, chunk trailers in here uh, this is black and blue flake you got genius bait uh, wacky worm here I have the bento bait the long cut bento bait uh, these work really well when those bass are lethargic and they don't want to eat anything and you put this right in front of them, they will eat it. Um, in this, I have a variety of different stuff that I just thrown in this little bag. It's got like some salt in it, so it kind of keeps some flavor, I guess, and scent in there. So, use some of those. And here, these are basically what I use the most. Um, these are the yum chunks. Uh, these are green and purple flake. Uh, those work really well. These are the um, six inch power night crawlers. Uh, they're for walleye, so when I go walleye fishing, I use those. These are the Biwa Ultra Hog three inch uh, creatures. Um, I haven't used these yet. I can't wait to use them. Um, I just got them in a Lucky Tackle box. So, in this one, I have a um, five. This is five-inch power jerk shad made by Berkeley. Uh, these are pearl white, and these work really well down by my uh, dam, the dam that's here in my hometown. Hometown. So, those are good. I think. These are the, I, don't, I haven't used these at all. I don't know about them. They're seven inch uh, minnow worms. I'll maybe try these out, see what, how they work. Um, these are just uh, some white uh, chunk trailers. These right here, these are good. I've caught maybe 11 smallmouth on there, on these. And they aren't just like small, uh, like little small smallmouth. These are like maybe 17, like 15 to 17 inch smallies, uh, so these work really well. Alright, and now that we're done with the soft plastics, let's get to the other side. Actually, just wait, faked you out. In this, I have some little grubs, and also I have some ice fishing stuff that I use for ice fishing, because I live in Wisconsin. Um, I don't do very much ice fishing, but when I do, it's mostly for stuff for tip ups. In here, I don't have anything in this compartment. Don't know why it's open. In this compartment, I have my line, I have my spider wire, strand, more spider wire. So, that's basically it. I usually only use braid or uh, fluorocarbon because braid up here in Wisconsin there's lots of uh, stuff
coming out of the water, like tree branches or hanging, uh, stumps, lots of stuff that are that's in the water to get tangled on. And last but not least, the final compartment in here, I have my frogs. I love frogs, especially in the summer. I use these around almost anything. Don't think you only have to use frogs around cover, because I've used these over like open water, and I've gotten like two pound, three pound bass. So definitely give frogs a try if you've never used them. So and my jerk baits and other varieties, such floaters and divers, um, and everything in here basically what it looks to, what it looks like I got some like soft soft stuff in here I got jitterbug I love the jitterbug I lost two of them last summer I need to get more um, I have a little trout presentation off thing here um, I recently got this in a lucky tackle box and my other one yeah I got this in a lucky tackle box I can't wait to use this and I got a, another jerk bait down here. Yeah, this this one right here. So keep all those right there. Um, I use jerk baits quite a bit actually. There's probably I probably use them the most out of all the other stuff that I use. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll just set this to the side. Um. On to like my hooks and such crap. It is so messy because Saturday I went fishing and it was crazy. It was fun though. I cut a lot of small mouth. Um, I got my bobbers for your pan fishing. I got my lead wire leaders. I got these new hooks. My um, bullet sinkers in here. Uh, I got my punching uh, hooks here. And that's about it in this compartment. And next is spins and spinners. I really want to get a spinner box, like just like by themselves. Basically, um, I have a f like a big frog in here. I don't know why. It's not even mine. I got some spinner baits in here, mostly spinner baits. Some a little, little bit of spoons. Um, I don't even know why I put a jig trailer on here. Like, that doesn't even make any sense, but it worked, actually. So that's good. Um, I have these Blade Runners. I looked these uh, these Blade Runners up, uh, up on uh, Google, and I can't find them. So if you can find them and show me or send me a link in the, com uh, in the comments below, that'd be great. We got buzz baits in here. Another, uh, oh, I love... Chatterbaits. I just started using chatterbaits, and I love them. Oh, I don't. I can't even like. Oh, they're so good. If you don't have chatterbaits, get some. Like, they will work. I like them better than spinnerbaits. And that's about it in that compartment. Now on to crankbaits. Spin this around. I don't use crankbaits that, that much uh, because I usually use them like early, early spring. Um, I got some in there, mostly like build dance stuff that I got from my stepdad because he sold quite a bit of lures. Got those, and I got this brand new one that I got for farm. This looks, I haven't even used this yet. Like, that looks sweet. I can't wait to use those. So that's about it for my current big class. I, I don't have many. So, moving on. I have more plastics. This is basically just like stuff that I just throw in the box. I have some banjo minnows, some more stuff, basically. Enough for that box, cause that box is kind of boring. Uh, this one just has extra jerk baits that I can't fit in the other box. I got basically 
a box full of salamanders that I used down by my dam. We got different different colors, varieties, colors and sizes. Um, I used these with like bait mate, and they were great. So next, move on. I've got to take this one out. Um, last but not least, the jig box. I can't. I love jigs. Like, even though I don't catch many fish on the jigs, I still love them because they look so cool. The pros make it look so easy in catching that fish with them. I got white with some, like, what is that? Like, like shad. I don't know. Shad specs. Um, I got a black and blue jig. I got a football head. No, not anymore. I lost my football head jig. But I had to replace it with this. But uh, if you can get, as you can see, I use this one a lot more because of all that line that's on it. So that one way, I got my jig heads in here, like a light uh, blue and black, and then I got this one right here. So, I mean, that's about it. that's about it, guys. Um, please like and su subscribe. I'm thinking there's a possibility.